Hello there, production. Hello there. Normally I don't make videos about new stuff in Atomic Shop, but this time is different, and maybe it will be useful for you. Of course, you claim your Fallout first monthly bonus, but there is a special bundle just for you, my first friend. It includes Ranger Armor Helmet, you probably have already, Atomic Camo Metal or Lisa Armor Paint for wood works as well, just in case. Responders Medical Tent, hmm, interesting, and Elite Ranger Armor Outfit. The question you may have if this medical tent has a workbench, right? As well, I want to check this Armored Raider Skull Gas Mask, and it says, add some protection to your cranium. So that means one thing. More damage resistance, right? As always, we can craft it at armor workbench, and I will check later if it provides with damage resistance. But first, let's see if the new tent has a workbench. Let's get inside, and there is no workbench. We have a stash box, that's cool. Some stuff we can't interact with. And uh, a scrap box. Okay. I personally think that all survival tents need a workbench nowadays, because the difference is hella huge and it is just unfair. Now with outfits and our armored mask has no armor, nothing. Well, it requires only two steel to craft and has no value, zero caps. If you dare to craft it, expect zero experience. You see, zero. Fight me! So, if you want to spend 150 atoms only because it says armored and you kinda love the idea to have a headwear with damage resistance, you know the ugly truth. It is a scam. Now let me show you the Elite Ranger outfit. Let's craft one first. Here we go, and it looks cool, but if you have the Advanced Ranger armor outfit, it looks a little bit different. And the question is only if you want another one. Anyways, I hope Bethesda will think one more time and upgrade all survival tents with workbenches. Spend that much atoms or not is up to you, but you know what you will get. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.